three of the men who make Star Trek so much fun to watch. Jonathan Frakes, Brent Spiner, Michael Dorn. Give them a big hand. Much too busy now. You don't want to stay for a second. <laughs> so, hey, Mike, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Brent? What's Good going on? Hi. Do you know Jonathan Frakes here? Met him. Yes. Uh, did anyone want to take a photo? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> It's hard to say if he was nice because of the accent. Did he hate you because <laughs> you, you, you were an American? <laughs> you know what, to be honest, we never really understood what he was saying. <laughs> All we ever heard was, no, 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 Yeah, that's very funny. Right there, uh, standing, you, sir. Yes. I quite understand her either, actually. Does she ever have a boob job? I'm sorry, sir. What are balloons? No, she didn't. Did he say balloon? No, I didn't. Well, that is, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's what an Andorian has. Uh, thank you. It writes for me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You, sir, back there in the blue shirt. <laughs> I guess that would be Chain of Command. <laughs> you know that one? I do. I, I remember that. It's the one with the bass seat. Did you like uh, Code of Honor? That's the one with the bass seat. That's the one with the bass seat. Code, Code of Honor is what I meant. Yes. That was probably one of the, the most well written, uh, interesting time. shows I've ever seen. Uh, Star Trek. <laughs> uh, yes, you, sir. Right here in the blue. blue. <laughs> what was the difference? between doing the TV show yeah. and then making the movies? Uh, there was really no difference, uh, sir. <laughs> Fewer people watched it, I guess. <laughs> yes, sir, just uh, wait, I'm gonna get this guy right here. Man, uh, wait, we got the beard right there. Yes, sir. In the movie, in the movie of uh, Nemesis, yeah. what do you think the problem was with that movie? <laughs> Sir, yeah. I've gotten a lot of mail about that. And the uh, the consensus seems to be they wish we had killed Riker. <laughs> now, Brad, Brad. If, John, if, Jonathan's if they, not here. Jonathan's not here to, to If they are really himself. dead, I wouldn't want to. If they are really dead, God, I hope so. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Let's take another question. <laughs> no, so answer right there. The blue dress. The blue dress. This, is, this is a serious question. Yes, sir. To what do you attribute the continued following and good faith that the Star Trek oeuvre yes. has given to all of us fans? I guess uh, I've, I've given that a lot of thought, sir, actually, that question. I didn't understand what he said. <laughs> he said something about a Uber. <laughs> Is that a different kind of bra or something? Like <laughs> <a Uber? laughs> okay. so, you know, I'm trying to ask a serious question, isn't I? Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted a serious answer, but no, they're afraid of you. can't! Darn good in that part. You know what? I'm going to restate.
stage that. I've grown into the part. You have. I'm going to do that. A, a few good men with Jonathan Franks in the Jack Nicholson part and uh, Will Wheaton as uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Jimmy's never like this at work, is it? That's right. My friend Jimmy's in the back. Jimmy, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, Jimmy. Let me answer your uh, previous question. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What was it again? It was, what do you... Ubra. Ubra, yeah. Uh, I believe I've thought about why Star Trek has lingered this long. <laughs> is, is lingered really the verb you choose? I thought it would be an amusing verb. Uh, Endured. Uh, <laughs> and I finally, I, it has to come down to, I, I guess it's because of me. <laughs> What's that? You don't like the future of the space program. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to wait your turn in line. <laughs> Are you talking to me or Mr. Dorn? I just said directly to uh, Mr. Dorn. Okay. <laughs> when you were on the set. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you were in the transport room. Yes. <laughs> and you went up onto those circles that lit up from the top and the bottom. Yes. And you transported out of the spaceship. Yes. What did that feel like? <laughs> <laughs> you just, just tell me in your own words and then I'd like Mr. Spider to answer as well. No, I'd like to answer that. <laughs> you see, uh, I don't necessarily believe that um, that it's real. Okay? I know you'd all like to think so. No, no, I, I think it's it's really just make believe in your heads. Okay. Is that your impression of me? <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> Let me just say this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> I don't know, sir, if you've ever had your molecules disperse. That's, why That's what happens when you beam. Well, you've had it happen, haven't you, sir? I never have, but I've heard. Yeah. There's an idea all molecules disperse, could be. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Have my molecules dispersed and spread it over to you, Carrera. That's what <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> there are children in the room, aren't there? Maybe not. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, don't that's listen funny. to him, young man. The molecules? That's really dirty. What? Where am I? <laughs> it's the word spread. You don't want to say it for the children. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, is there anybody else? Besides the guy in the blue. Is there a gentleman over there in the blue? Yes, sir. You, sir. On, on the episode where you played Dr. Noonien Silk. Well, there was more than one, sir. I don't know which one you're referring to. Well, there's more than one, sir. I don't know the one you're referring to. <laughs> uh, are you talking to me or to him? What's that? His lair? Lair? Oh, it's lair. It's yes. Lair. Yes. He's a liar? A liar. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Are you okay, sir? Do we is there a doctor in the room? <laughs> Just in case? You're a doctor? Yes, I am. What kind of doctor are you? <laughs> For a second, will you? Take my damn picture, please. Take, 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 take. <laughs> you know, she's a podiatrist. Was that was that your voice? Uh, that was my voice, sir. I, there was no no one fool. I can do it right now, actually, if you like. I love that face. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I always love that face. Yeah, there we are. I always... No, that was you. That was you. <laughs> I always love that face. Yeah, there we are. 
always love her. Yeah. She's leaving with her child because she doesn't want him being ruined by this experience. Tia Carrera, I don't blame you. If you see Tia Carrera, give her our best, will you? Oh, you already did? I Yes. As, as as yourselves, yes. as Michael and, and Brent, mm -hmm. how long did the transformation from becoming from Brent to Data, and in your case from Michael to Warp, how long did that transformation take? Both, I'm, I'm talking both mentally, physically, <laughs> emotionally, not just the makeup, but the character work. <laughs> I think, sir, so you're giving me a lot more credit than I deserve. <laughs> I just showed up, you know, and I put the makeup on and I said the words. That was it. Even, yes, uh, sir. <clears throat> yes. Uh, when I it took a, it took a while. It was three hours to start when I first started the show, and uh, and then it got it down to an hour and forty five minutes. But the transition took uh, a lot longer. In fact, uh, we actually finished an episode, and I was still getting into the character. <laughs> well, as a fact, he's still getting into the character. I'm still getting. I still haven't got it right yet. <laughs> Yeah, don't. Yeah, answer a question or two. All right, well, let's seriously take some questions. So there's a microphone right there. What's that? Uh, if you're not on the microphone, how can we hear you? <laughs> yes, go ahead. You with the orange. The orange, yeah. Well, I already know that Mr. Spider isn't interested in the future in the space program. He let me know that. For those who don't know, the uh, first Android astronaut is going up this next space shuttle launch. That's why I brought it up to him. But for the other two... <laughs> what is your question, sir? <laughs> what real astronauts have you met, and are any of you interested in the space program? What? Other than Mae Jemison, who uh, beamed uh, you up on that uh, thing that disperses you. <laughs> I could disperse you right now. <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. You want to answer that? Uh, I've met uh, Frank Borman. Uh, in fact, one of the airplanes that I own, he, he bought for me. Colonel Frank Borman, which was he brought from me. My F-86, he came over and he, uh, he uh, uh, I sold it to him. And actually, the, the, the funny story is that I was, he, uh, I 